Welcome to the lecture of nav to stack commander API usage with Python nodes. This is going to be really interesting because we cannot use our ways markers manually to send goals to a robot. We have to utilize an interface, which is commander API to send goals through our nodes. We will be processing a lot of things and we get a location and we want our robot to get that specific goal. So we send through commander API. It is really easy, very simplified. So in this lecture, we are going to be understanding commander API usage from giving a single goal and then we will move towards sending multiple goals in all this process we are going to go through how to set up initial pose how to get the values of the goals to be sent to the commander api but first we need to set up one important thing as it is a python code we have to fix it into our c package if you want to skip it and directly download the package you can get the github link preferring one single package to support python and c this makes a lot of things easier i have to create a new folder the very first thing because in python packages this is a structure for modules it should have the same name as of the package name and it should contain the init file that should be empty no need to fill this one in xml file of the package you have to add two things build tool dependency which is aim and c make python which is going to be utilized to build python scripts and rclc and the second one is going to be rclpy In CMake list, we are going to be adding two packages, aim and CMake Python and RCLPy to process Python as a client library. All of the things are going to be very similar to C++ regarding the part of building of this script. So I am going to create a new folder and I'll call it script, which is going to be inside of navigation package. Here, the scripts folder is going to contain my Python package. I'm going to name it to be single goal navigation.py for just starting out i will just say that uh, print nav2 so i can test if it is going to work or not and also i have to add shebang as well so it should detect python 3 now once i have the python package i have to include it inside of cmake list to build it i will start by bringing in this aim and python install package so now it knows that i have to utilize this package that i've included for building programs what do i mean by that i will write install programs and this is going to be my python script single goal nav.py and interestingly its destination is going to be the same as my c file let's now build our package call can build and there will come an error that is that is quite unique which says invalid name version syntax by adding cmake python it is requiring to change the name in a way that should not contain underscore at the end because it is causing problems so i will change it to navigation tb3 and as i've changed here i have to change in the cmake list as well and i will have to change it here as well although in the folder name it is not required but it will create confusion so i'm making the changes everywhere cmakes list and xml package xml is only required now let's build it and it has successfully built it now i have to source my package once again it says that this package is now missing from the previous build so ros to run navigation tb3 now it's available pressing double tab single goal nav press enter and it has printed out nav2 which means the python script is installed from the next time when we want to create a python file we just need to add this line to make a python file executable so let's now bring up the navigation commander api nodes if we look at here in ross planning navigation 2 we open up humble branch because our version is humble here you can see we have this nav2 simple commander we'll open this up this package we can download it and build it in your workspace as well but we are only interested in the scripts it provides it's python it contains all python scripts which we will use navigation to pose which contains simple example i will just copy it and paste it into my code and I will run it and see what it does to my robot. I'll first perform call can build. 
before running the node i have to launch the simulation of the robot that we created in the previous video and that was navigation.launch.pyfy this is going to bring our robot as well as the navigation in our viz you can see let's put these two things side by side okay at this specific point we can send goals through our viz as well but we were only interested in sending the goals through our node the values are generic and they might cause some problem and they will but let's run it and see what happens ros2 run navigation ab3 and the name of single goal navigation.py our robot is not localized and we are directly sending some signal let's see what happens it has published and it has initialized my robot at this specific point which is incorrect and although the robot is at this specific location which is this point but it has initialized its initial position to be at this specific point so it is not going on a goal although there is no path but it is sort of doing a recovery behavior and you can see the goal failed it has shut down because of i think the wrong initial pose and not able to find the path to a specific goal that is being sent through this code we'll explore what does it contain but let's first break it down into parts and understand how this is working let's divide commander api into three parts the first one is initialize the library and set the initial pose of the robot the second part is to set a goal location so it can generate a path from initial position and your goal location the third part is the important one you are going to wait for the goal completion it seems useless but the thing is you can preempt it and you can find out how much time it is going to take to reach that specific point meaning a countdown and then you can say that if it does not reaches within 10 seconds you are going to launch the recovery beard there are a lot of options that you can play with but let's just go with simple one give a goal make it reach to that goal in defined time it is going to give us counter as well as i was talking about the navigation stack simple commander api you can see there is a proper documentation about it it's holistic view and how it is working in a very simplified manner there are other options that you can look into you can dig deep into it it is really interesting in how simplified it has become as i was saying that now they have tried to make it as a library availability to the node is sort of a library so what we are going to do is to now make the navigation work with our simulation if i remove things that i don't need and my goal is to first just make the robot go to a specific point using this specific node so i'm going to get rid of this initial pose for now okay it's going to initialize the library and then we are going to send a goal that goal is going to be sent and uh, we'll wait till robot reaches that specific point but how do we know that which location is for the robot now that is confusing and uh, previously you saw that we had an error with it so let's bring the simulation so let's first build this code that we have made changes into run the simulation at this specific point if i run the node it is going to cause the error that we saw earlier but now we are not having any initial pose so i have to give the initial pose to the navigation stack for that i will click on this 2d pose estimation and i know that my robot is looking at this specific point it initializes the initial pose of my robot okay and then reads all of the readings from the sensor and gets the map now when i run this node it is going to give a specific goal to the robot and here you can see it said minus 2 and minus 0 0.5 and i think that minus 2 and minus 0 0.5 is out of this boundary which, which is out of the map so it is unable to process it so the point is how do we know that what is the location for our robot so let's start with the point of Odom so we can find where the robot is and here it is in the topic list ROS2 Topic Echo Odom if we say that and if I make it big in Odom the base footprint that is of robot is minus 1.98 and 0 0.8 although in the code we sent minus 2.0 and minus 0 0.5 that is very close to these two points but still it was unable to find it so there is difference between the location of the map 
which navigation uses and the odome that's a very critical point because it confuses a lot what we are going to do we are going to find out locations using waypoints from rvis let's run this simulation again and i'm going to look at the available topics ros2 topic list in the simulation let me initialize my robot first location and the robot is looking in this direction if i give another direction it is going to cause a lot of problems i am going to fix multiple waypoints starting from waypoints nav through if i say the first goal is to go at this specific point this is vp0 and the second one is going to go to this specific point i have clicked to nav tools to fix the goals third one is this and the fourth one is exactly the point where the robot is standing to find out in the map where the robot is standing according to the nav stack so this is the last goal point number three i'm going to look at the goal locations that i have given so in my terminal i'm going to say ros2 topic list and here i have waypoints so ROS2 topic echo waypoints if I stop it you can see this is the waypoint 4 exactly upon our robot waypoint 4 WP4 and its coordinates in the position are 0 0.036 and 0 0.0094 so you see in Odon things are different and in navigation stack according to the map the pose is totally different so nav2 stack understands in the terms of waypoints that we have here so i'm going to combine all of that into our node at this specific point i'm going to give the positions of waypoint 3 which are at this specific point waypoint 3 to our goal location and here it is so let me now send this as a goal to a robot and see what happens i have to close the simulation we have to build the node as well and I am going to turn on the simulation again. We have to initialize our robot's first orientation, then send the goal to the robot. And as you can see, it has detected correctly the point where waypoint 3 was previously. And you can see it has now started to move towards that point it is estimating the time towards that as well once it reaches it shuts it down and it has returned goal succeeded similarly we can go for multiple waypoints let's bring the code from this demo security.py from simple commander which contains multiple waypoints and uh, i'm going to be just using four of these and other i'm going to remove them in our scenario if you remember waypoint 4 was the initial position so we will initialize the robot's location initial pose function here and we will provide a pose stamp twist message so we don't need to manually make a robot localize even so waypoint 4 was the one that our robot was at starting so we'll fill all the values Now regarding the other goals, all of the code is almost the same but you have to provide the XY locations at these specific points. So I am going to fill them with waypoint 3 and 2 that we had earlier.
the script is ready and we have to tell the CMake list we have another Python script that you need to put it into the lib directory and that name is multi waypoints. Now we have to perform call can build. Our simulations are ready. We have to now perform ROS2, run, navigation, TB3. The name is multi waypoints. Let's see if initialization works fine or not. So you can see initialization works very well and it is perfectly initialized. Now our first goal has been sent to the robot. Let's see what happens. In the code there is a possibility. It is also telling us how much seconds it is going to take to reach the specific goal. This is a very interesting feature. It is also possible for the robot to fail as well because you can see number of seconds has increased and it is unable to find the path from this specific point because of the inflation or the voxel layer obstacle layer as well. So we can make changes here in our goal execution where it is saying zero that you can increase the time of going to a goal from 180 to something more. At this specific point we can change the voxel layer settings and make a robot move but as I displaced it, it has found the path. It says that I have found the path because 180 seconds were passed. Now it is reaching the second goal. We can make a lot of changes here. We can reduce the inflation layer and make the robot pass through this specific point. And again, it is stuck at this specific point and it is unable to find a free path from this point. So that's why it is having some error. You can make changes into it and the robot can work. Now you can see the robot is trying to reach before reaching it has said that I have already reached obviously when we manually displace the robot localization gets stuck. So now we can say that our robot is working perfectly with multiple goals and navigation stack is quite interestingly integrated into our robot. Navigation stack in ROS2 is really powerful. We have seen that we can utilize Arvis for manual goal sending and making the robot navigate and the commander API as well. So let me recap it. We created a Python node to write goals. So it generates the path and then sends it as a goal. Then we wait for the robot to complete the path autonomously and we get the result feedback from the navigation stack. We can also provide multiple waypoints to the robot so it can move from one to another and completes its whole route which can be utilized for many 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 applications. Commander API is made very simple that it can be literally used as a library in Python scripts and we can give multiple goals with conditions counters so that we can totally control the robot's autonomous behavior using ROS2 with navigation stack. So in the next upcoming lectures, I think we would be working upon writing custom planners and changing a lot of things in the available parameters of the planners to obtain a truly customized application.